Hey, this is Brian Stillman. If you've been with us these last two days, you know that we are at NAB 2019 in New York City um, at the Jacob Javits Convention Center with Be Terrific, bringing you wall-to-wall -wall coverage of all the cool gear and all the cool technology here um, yesterday and today. If you're just tuning in, you've been missing some good stuff, and uh, I can't help you. I don't know what to tell you. Um, we're here with um, we're here with Brian Gaffney with uh, Pick Systems with, with Codex. 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 Okay, it, it's all warped and wrapped together. Um, talk to me a little bit about what you do. So I'm with Codex. Uh, Codex is a Emmy Award-winning design and manufacturing company, which primarily makes the camera recording engines for the leading man camera manufacturers, primarily Airy. Right. Now, if we go back 90 years ago, Airy cameras had film put into them to record. Yeah. Uh, cut to about 10 years ago, that film was replaced with Codex Media. So we were the actually recording media and recording engine inside the Airy cameras. Uh, here at the show, Airy showing off the new Airy Alexa Mini large format camera. Yeah. The actual compact drive that's inside there is manufactured and designed by Codex. That's really cool. So, you know, that evolution from film to digital has pretty much transformed. I mean, one of the most transformative aspects of filmmaking over the last 15, 20 years. Um, what sort of evolution are you seeing? Um, it's not just bigger capture media. Um, it's more efficient. It's higher bit rates. It's everything else. So what are you seeing and, and how is that playing out? Well, what I'm seeing is besides the pixels getting you know uh, increased in value from 4K to 8K, it's really about the high dynamic range of the image. Yeah. As we move into the high dynamic uh, range or HDR mastering format of our uh, time, capturing raw imagery is really important. There's tons of cameras around the show floor, and they all range from uh, you know small camera, pocket cameras, up to large format cameras. And you have to choose that camera that's the best for your actual uh, product that you're building out. But when you're in the end capturing for a feature film or a television show and you know that maybe 10 years later you have to pull it out of the can and remaster it, you want to have that raw image. One of the things that's got me most excited is this, you know, everyone's talking about, you know, 4K TVs came out and I'm seeing 6K, 8K TVs and I'm like, what really has me excited is the high dynamic range technology. Um, being able to take the stuff that I shoot um, with 14, 15 stops of dynamic range and having more of that actually make it onto the screen. I don't have to crush my blacks, I don't have to bring everything down. Rec 709 is, it makes me cry at night. Right. Um, how is that, um, that affecting your side of the industry? Does that affect the, the sort of capture engines and things like that? Uh, no, in fact, um, Codex has always been high dynamic range, uh, capturing the raw image. We've always had all those full stops. Um, it's the cameras that are capturing directly in a compressed format or in ProRes, even though they're more pixels and they do have a wider dynamic range than, say, the cameras 10 years ago, you've already sort of clamped your whites and you've clamped your right. values. Um, having raw allows us for you know, 24K in the future yeah. that we can constantly remaster. Um, we did the dailies on Gravity, and that was captured in Airy Raw. But years later, they came up with a new D-Bear algorithm. We pulled out those files out and redid them, and the images is, are actually better. But it's the original image was still captured with all that detail. That's amazing. Um, so what sort of products do you have here today? Why? What, what brings you to NAB? So um, we're here with our partner, Synesis Oceana, and we're showing off a new desktop NAS product. So yes, we are the recording engine and camera, and we generate petabytes of data per day, but once you come off that, you recycle the media and you re-record over it. So we have storage solutions that now allow you to copy off that data extremely high speed, get it onto a desktop NAS solution so that it can be in a shared work group, immediate editorial, visual effects, marketing, everyone could come and get access to that footage. So what's what's the specific product? Uh, it's called the Media Vault NAS. It's a 12-bay uh, system that ranges from 72 terabytes up to 168 terabytes. It has four 10-gig ports directly built in or eight. So in an environment like this where you're capturing all this content, you need to immediately turn around quickly, you have editorial and everyone all working off one storage system, that's the goal. And you can see it here in the uh, NAB show floor on the Sydney's uh, Oceana booth. And that's what I was going to ask you. So it's accessible via network, so you can have your, you know, your your After Effects artist pulling data from there. You can have your editor pulling. The, it's all shared. It's all back and forth. Correct. Seamless flow and stuff. Um, 
And uh, what is that through? Is it NDI? Is it SDI? What's the connections? Like? So as a network attached, it's uh, through an Ethernet cable, oh, yeah. and it's 10 gig Ethernet. So we can move data across that Ethernet network about 1,200 megabytes per second. Great. So pretty high speed. Yeah. So that means as I do have the editors, and I do have that FX artist on there, they can access the footage in real time, playback, do reviews, uh, and then share the files as well. How much does a unit like that sell for? They range in price from around 16000 up to about 29000 in price. Okay. Is that available now? Or is it's shipping on the market, and it's wow. uh, been out for some time. Codex has been around for about 15 years sure. making products. Um, in May, we actually joined forces with Pick System, based in San Francisco. They're the leading streaming manufacturer for all the dailies for uh, both you know, feature film and uh, television. And together with Codex, we plan to uh, extend that you know, from set all the way to the cloud. Wow. That's great. Um, where do you ultimately see the technology going, whether it's, it's camera capture, whether it's storage and, and um, uh, data-based? Um, as we move forward, you know, we've, we've been interviewing a lot of people in the booth, a lot of AI systems being discussed, things like that. What sort of uh, technology innovations do you see as we move forward? I think um, what we're going to see is the combination of the storytelling process will pretty much resain, uh, remain the same. Sure. The, Processy steps will remain the same, but what's really going to come is the creative that uh, can exploit some of these new features. Um, so visual effects uh, enhancements are constantly getting better and better refined. Those will be enhanced even further through machine learning and AI. Um, reducing labor a little bit to allow some of these things to be rendered faster. Right. But the biggest technology change will be the migration from small facility to the cloud, uh, where we can actually upload our negative from the straightaway, maybe straight off camera. You know, 5G hasn't come yet, but it will be here eventually, 6G. Uh, it'll further get to the point where from camera, direct to cloud. From there, people will access their master content and render their deliverables. We're still not there yet today, so sure. I think that's more of a 10-year roadmap, but I see us moving in baby steps towards that. And you see everything from you know, live view in the cloud, you know, streaming back results from you know, our live production here at Be Terrific. Very cool, very cool. Well, thank you for stopping by. It's thanks, great Brian. stuff. Brian, thanks for coming. Um, I, <laughs> this is the type of tech that you see at, at, at NAB. People think in terms of cameras, lights, microphones, but it's really all the other things that make productions work. Everything from storage, like camera capture, you know, image capturing. Um, so uh, yeah, stick around. We're going to be bringing you more coverage from NAB 2019, beterrific.com. Also check out Beterrific Tech. Uh, don't forget we have the Agility Quadricep, which is the um, uh, video panel that we've developed. Uh, first product out of uh, Beterrific. It you know it's flexible, it's waterproof, it's daylight viewable, um, it's magnetic, lightweight, easy to install, and you can learn all about it at beterrific.tech. I'm Brian Stillman. We'll have more coverage for you throughout the day. And if you want to learn more about Codex, go to codex.online.